what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the real reason why brock lesnar lost at wwe crown jewel 2021 man uh by none other than wrestlemania we gotta see what's really going on here um i do see them continuing on this feud between the new rogue roman we have now and brock lesnar with paul Heyman in the mix because the way that match ended, it wasn't the best ending by any means. It could have been done better. It's pretty predictable in the sense of them protecting Brock. Roman can't losing, can't lose. So obviously there's going to be some shenanigans when the referee gets knocked out of the match. So, um, but they are definitely planning something for them in the future. And um, I'm not going to lie to you. I would be interested to see. I still think whatever match they have in the future, Roman should still win. I just would want him to lean, win legitimately clean. I think beating Roman, I mean, Roman beating Brock clean does not make Brock Lesnar look any less different. I want y'all to understand Brock Lesnar hasn't lost to many people since he came back. He hasn't. Since his, since his initial return many years ago, he hasn't lost to that many people, bro. He hasn't. So it's just one of those things where it's like he can take a loss. And he's lost to Roman before. And Brock has beaten Roman countless of times. So it's just one of those things. We'll, we'll see where they take this into the future. We're almost at 60K, y'all. So make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Let me know that you guys are liking my reactions and the content. And uh, let's get right into this. And it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. Now the 2021 edition of Crown Jewel is over with the much anticipated main event of Universal Champion Roman Reigns versus his arch rival Brock Lesnar ending in controversy. Now if you're looking for answers as to why Lesnar lost, well you've come to the right place. Join us now as we look at the real reasons why Brock Lesnar lost at Crown Jewel. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos subscribe and follow to us on Facebook man. for exclusive Link to the original lists. video will be in the uh, description. So subscribe to Lesson WrestleMania. Good content creator for wrestling news. Now in case you haven't watched Crown Jewel or our recap, here's a brief summary of what happened. Roman managed to gain the upper hand mid-match, only for Lesnar to counter a spear, getting Reigns into a suplex city and an F5. But after Reigns countered a second F5 with a guillotine choke, Lesnar managed to escape, F5-ing Reigns again, but also knocking over referee Charles Robinson. Paul Heyman then threw the championship belt in the ring, and he mentioned, you know what to do. But after Brock wrested it from Reigns, he only managed to eat a double super kick from the Usos. Reigns clobbered Lesnar with the belt, covering him as a replacement referee conveniently rolled in and counted mm -hmm. Lesnar's shoulders to the mat. But now fans are asking, why Lesnar, arguably Reigns' biggest opponent to date, lost, particularly after weeks of the WWE teasing that Paul Heyman was secretly aligned with him. Well, number one, Brock Lesnar is still part-time. Mm -hmm. Now, while Brock Lesnar's fighting days in UFC are over, there doesn't appear to be any desire on his part to work a full-time schedule, mm -mm. no matter how much money the WWE th And this is what I'm trying to tell people why Brock wouldn't be a good champion. He's a part-time guy. He doesn't want he doesn't like to travel like that. He's not going to be around the product. So you're not even going to see the Universal Championship. I don't get why people want to say, "Oh, I, I I want Brock to win." You're not even going to see the title. What's the point? You know what I'm saying? Throws it in. Brock's unwillingness to work full time has been a sore spot for the fans who expect their world champion to show up more than once every three months. That's what I'm saying. Once upon a time, Vince McMahon's world seemed to rise and set on Brock, but that no longer is the case. Consequently, a part-time champion isn't going to cut it for the WWE. Number two, Brock Lesnar is no longer the next big thing. He's not. Now, there's no denying that Brock's days as the next big thing are long over, and while he remains a blue chip star in the WWE, what is he going to do that he hasn't done already? Brock has held the world championships, including the WWE Championship and the Universal Championship, for dominant reigns mm -hmm. and defeated everyone there is to defeat in the WWE. When it comes to Reigns, Lesnar dominated him during the Beast heyday, and it was the rare occasion when Reigns was able to secure a win over him. Mm -hmm. But times have changed though, and at this point, a win over Roman Reigns seems completely counterproductive to Vince McMahon. This is what I'm saying. Brock beating Roman does not make sense. It's, it doesn't work. 
it's literally what's the point of him having this nice title reign just to throw it back to Brock Lesnar, who's not going to be there. You got to got some of you guys got to think logically here. This does not build a new star. Brock is not a new star. What's the point? You got to ask yourself, what what do we gain as viewers seeing Brock once every three months as a champion? All right, then. Man, which brings us to our next reason. Number three, Roman Reigns is still white hot. Thank you. But Roman Reigns is too over for the WWE to have anyone defeat him right now. Yes. Reigns is and has been the hottest act on SmackDown in over a year with fans flocking to the Tribal Chief's heel persona. The Usos have jumped a notch thanks to their association yes. with their champion cousin, resulting in the bloodline becoming one of the WWE's hottest acts in some time. Yes. The bloodline may be booked as heels, but it's obvious from the fans' reactions that they're over with the majority of fans. Yes, they're heels, but they still get cheer pops because people like them. People like Roman in his character because he's believable. I believe what Roman is doing because it seems like it's really him. He's just playing it up a little bit more. I like it. Whether it's the WWE Universe cheering the bloodline or buying their merchandise, Roman and the Usos are far too popular to have lost at this point. This Number four, the timing isn't right. Mm -mm. Now with Reigns being such a hot act, we believe that the WWE felt the timing for a Lesnar win was not right. While the WWE needed a high profile match for Crown Jewel and Lesnar vs Reigns certainly fit the bill, it also had to think about what's next after its Super Saudi show. Survivor Series is just a month away and the mm -hmm. WWE wants to book another big match as Raw and SmackDown's top stars collide. Right now that means Biggie vs Roman Reigns, a match that should have fans on the edge of their seats. Although Brock vs Biggie would be compelling, it's, it's not in the same class right now. Mm -mm. And with the WWE facing continued competition from All Elite Wrestling, why leave anything to chance? The WWE is making more money. And I would like that because, you, man, that, that Biggie versus Roman, I'm I'm all for it. I think it's good. If you guys remember, I want to say it was last year, Drew versus Roman at Survivor Series. That was a fantastic match. So it, I would like them to really go at it. The New Day, you know, you got Kofi, you got the, the new King of the Ring, Xavier Woods potentially going off against, um, against the Usos. You know what I'm saying? Like one team, one one group of individuals going against another group of individuals. You know, I'm all for it, man. I think that would be dope at Survivor Series. Depending on how they book it, we will see. You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to where they take this. With Reigns as champion on SmackDown right now, and there's no reason to think that they could do any better if Lesnar had won the belt tonight. Not only would Lesnar's part-time schedule interfere with his drawing power, but any title defenses would be against opponents he's faced before. Number five, Brock is another stepping stone. Thank you. The WWE is clearly building up Roman Reigns as their megastar, with rumors continuing to circulate that the WWE's long-term plan is to turn Roman babyface. It makes sense that the WWE wants to get him over as a badass champion. Yes, this is, we know, if you know anything about WWE, their real ultimate goal for Roman was to have him be the next big babyface, but it didn't work. So now they turned him heel and people are liking this gimmick. So over time, he will become a babyface. It just depends on how and when. But right now, he's just patting his stats on beating the top stars in the company. Who the fans can't help but admire based both on his dominance and his style. A wrestling is full of scenarios where heels prove so dominant that fans gravitate to them, leading to babyface turns for unlikely candidates such as The Undertaker or The Rock. Mm -hmm. After over a year of conquering the best that WWE has to offer, Vince McMahon has brought in. Yeah, man. Track Michael's victims. This, this, this is uh, something that they've really been wanting to do it's for quite some time, you know? So, honestly, his babyface turn will work. Only if he keeps the same intensity he has now. That's the only way it works. None of that suffering, succotash, cringe stuff, if you guys remember. It has to keep the same intensity he has now. Opponents including John Cena and Brock Lesnar. Brock was brought in to provide a world-class match for Crown Jewel and to put Roman Reigns over in the process. Number six, Brock is plan B. 
Despite his loss, the circumstances of Lesnar's loss left the door open for a rematch. Lesnar can claim he had Reigns beat and would have defeated him had the referee not been knocked out and the Usos hadn't been able to interfere. The reason that this is important is because the WWE is possibly reserving a rematch between Brock and Roman mm -hmm. for WrestleMania 38. Right now, the only major opponent for Lesnar seems to be The Rock, and while the current theory is that The Rock won't wrestle until WrestleMania 39, assuming he's even available, mm. anyone who thinks the WWE wouldn't move heaven and earth to bring him into the 2022 showcase of the Immortals has no idea how the WWE operates. Yeah. But that being said, the WWE also knows that it needs a strong opponent for Roman at WrestleMania, and Brock Lesnar would be an ideal candidate for a rematch. Having mm. Lesnar. Would you guys be interested in seeing that again at WrestleMania? I wouldn't mind, but only if Roman wins clean. It cannot end the same way. He has to win clean. Then I'll be okay with it. And you know Doug would love that. But <laughs> we would definitely watch that. But he has to win clean. That's the only way this works. The lose to Reigns at Crown Jewel in a controversial fashion did a little to hurt Lesnar's value. Number seven, there are more opponents to feed Reigns. Mm -hmm. Whether Roman Reigns wrestles The Rock at WrestleMania or someone else, they want to maintain Reigns' win streak, which means it's more than likely that the WWE is going to have Reigns wrestle different opponents on SmackDown. Drew McIntyre will likely yeah. be Reigns' opponent sometime between Survivor Series and WrestleMania, yep. giving Reigns an even more impressive title run until he works WrestleMania. Don't expect to see Lesnar in the picture unless the WWE plans on having Heyman betray Reigns, a storyline that the WWE has been handling quite well, so well that even Reigns' crown jewel victory, fans couldn't be sure whether his true loyalties lie. And I like that. I like that. People are not really sure, so they the door is open for that to happen at some point. I just don't want him to lose the championship in the process. Say, for example, Heyman does turn. If they do have a match at WrestleMania, I'm just fantasy booking right now. Heyman does turn, and Roman doesn't have nobody out there. He's going to do it on his own because he said he's going to do it on his own. Raymond, uh, Heyman does turn, then the Usos see it. They come down there. They take care of Paul Heyman, maybe throw him through a table or something like that. And they're about to get involved in the match. He's like, nah, I'm going to take care of this. Y'all stay to the side or, you know, go back. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to handle this on my own. I don't need him. I got this. And he still wins? It looks like he's about to lose. Brock, the, you think Brock's going to get the upper hand because of the distraction? And he still beats him by himself? That's all I got to say. <laughs> Just put my hands up. That's how you do it. I think that would be cool. I think that would be cool. Roman should not, he should not lose to Brock as long as he's the universal champion right now. And he needs to beat him clean at some point in the future. No interference, just him doing his job. If Paul Heyman turns on him, fine, but still have him win. Resulting in a babyface turn for Reigns and subsequent chase for the belt. Number eight, Brock is a free agent. And while Brock Lesnar's loss surprised some fans, his loss doesn't mean as much because Lesnar is a free agent, which means he can work on Raw or SmackDown. Mm -hmm. Now, there's no good reason for Lesnar to wrestle Reigns right now, and the WWE should save any rematch for WrestleMania. Instead, Lesnar could challenge Big E on Raw, or even work the much-discussed but never-booked dream match. But yeah, Brock Lesnar, Bobby Lashley, they've been talking about it for years. We would like to see it. I would love to see it. Between Lesnar and Lashley. With Lesnar only working part-time, he could work one or two matches on Raw before focusing on another return at Reigns in 2022. Number nine, Roman is SmackDown salvation. I don't even. He is SmackDown. You take him away as champion. What do you have? Brock's not going to be there. He's going to be back at home chilling. SmackDown would take a plummet. There's still some interesting things on SmackDown. But without him, what's the point? He is SmackDown. <laughs> He is the reason why that show is the A show. He is the reason why WWE has something to watch. You know what I'm saying? He's one of the main reasons why I even watch WWE at this point. I never thought I would say this ever. He used to be the main reason why I used to hate WWE's booking. He's the one thing I can depend on when it comes to SmackDown and just WWE as a whole. 
Not only is Roman and the Usos a white hot act, but they're the heart of SmackDown. It's the WWE's top show right now and one that consistently draws in the best ratings between itself and Raw. Mm -hmm. Having a part-time champion like Brock Lesnar would likely disrupt the show's chemistry even if Roman were to wrestle and or appear every week. Fox has reportedly already expressed its reservations about how SmackDown has performed, so a major shift like a part-time champion wouldn't go over well. No, Fox would be like, whoa, what the hell is this, bro? Get Why is Roman not the champ? Why the hell Roman is not the guy? He's bringing in the better ratings. Why is he not the guy? <laughs> and number 10, the WWE is playing it safe. There are many reasons why Roman retained and Brock became the Tribal Chief's latest victim, but one that can't be denied is the WWE likes to play it safe. They're not known for taking risks. Recall how long it took for the WWE to actually turn Reigns heel despite mm -hmm. years of him failing to get over as a babyface, so the very conservative Mr. McMahon has no discernible reason to put someone over Reigns right now. The problem with this is that at some point, the WWE Universe is going to tire of the same old, same old that they deal this with Reigns' true. title matches, and it's probably going to take a long time before Mr. McMahon realizes this and does something about it. McMahon's tendency to plan for the present and not long term means he's likely elated over Reigns' success and he has no plans to change things, whether it's Brock Lesnar or anyone else. Mm -hmm. While the manner of Lesnar losing wasn't well thought out, in fact, it was kind of lazy, yeah, it's it was essential to the WWE's plans. But there you have it, guys. Why Brock Lesnar lost at Crown and that can be detrimental to him if they don't switch it up because him winning in that form leg like that same type of formula over and over and over will get tiresome so it'll be interesting to see if they do switch it up for his future opponents or whatnot um but as it stands he's still gonna be the guy no one's beating him for a while until they build up a new star. So we will see how things plan out. But comment down below. Let me know would you guys be interested in a rematch with Roman versus Brock at WrestleMania. If they're not the, if they're not able to get um, The Rock, which, you know, he has a lot of movies and stuff going on. And these movie studios are not playing that shit. They don't want him to get hurt. If he's not, WWE is not able to get him. Would you guys be okay with Roman versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania? I get it. This would be like, what is this? The third time we've seen them wrestle at WrestleMania. But this would be a different situation only because Roman is not the same Roman from before. So we will see if you guys, you know, we will see if that does happen. But let me know if you guys be interested in that. Appreciate all the love and support. Roll to 60K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.